This is Pre-Evening with your host, Kai Turner. Hey, hey, hey. Welcome to Pre-Evening with Kai. I'm your host, Kai, as such. So as you guys know, it is nearly 4th of July. It is the anniversary of our nation's freedom. And that calls for some celebration, I say. And so we have a great show for you today. Americans are going to be celebrating today, you know, getting hammered, firing rockets, and consequently starting brush fires. <laughs> but hey, it is a really special day, isn't it? Well, since our studio will be covering the largest fireworks event in United States history later tonight, we'll have a shorter than usual show. But we still have some very special guests tonight from our very own daily news show, please welcome the anchors from Besides the Point News, Jim Brannigan and Diane Goodman. Hello, I'm Diane Goodman. Hey, and I am Hi. Jim Brannigan. Jim, hey. the man. How you it's doing? Just... Oh, hey. Whoa, whoa. You good? <laughs> Ooh. Mm. <sighs> I just want to give you a hug. All right. Oh. Right. Thanks, right. So let's, let's take seats. <sighs> okay. Oh. <laughs> okay, Jim. You need a little help there? No, I'm good. Well, maybe. I got you. Thanks, man. I knew we were friends for a reason. <laughs> okay, let me just get. Oh. 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 I got it. I got it. <laughs> Thanks for helping, Diane. Nice to see you, Kai. Right. Such a pleasure. You good? You good? Yeah. All right, good. great. Let's get this started, guys. Right. How are you doing today, Kai? Oh, I'm doing, you know, the, the studio doesn't care how I'm doing. As long as I show up to these interviews, though. Now, you, you look like you've been mauled by a bear, or rather, a, a Bigfoot. <laughs> you know, as, and you, you recently starred in a uh, Bigfoot hunting film mockumentary comedy. Is, is that correct? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's, wait, no, 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 it's not a comic. It's actually a... Oh, you're so funny, Jim. No one else in the world could have made a film like that. It's really great. Truly original, really. Well, I haven't seen the entire film, but I was told you did all your own stunts. It was comedic genius. Now, on that note, let's take an exclusive look at a clip from the film so the audience can find out a little bit more. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm going to be giving this Soviet loving Sasquatch a taste of my medicine. <laughs> now, I may be physically broken, but I'm not going to let this hairy beast break my spirit. <laughs> now, some of you may be thinking at this point this could be a little senseless because he's an animal. But I'm going to get him for every penny he's got to pay for my freaking medical bills cost by those primitive hands. <laughs> there he is. Wish me luck. Hey, jerk. You. Hey, I'm suing your ass for what you did to me on live television. You come to my house. You expect me to sign these papers? Yeah. Now can you please sign this? A better idea. Oh, that's, that's really funny. Jim, did, did you write that? No, that actually happened. Really good improv skills. You know, I didn't know Jim was such a good actor until this film. 
you know, I always thought you had to screw loose or something, but I guess it was just untapped talent. Well, uh, well, thank you, Diane. I, uh, for some reason, I thought you really hated me last year, so. Of course not, Jim. But it isn't actually, uh, why does everyone think that it's a comedy? Jim, uh, well, actually, Diane, are, are you in this film? I'm not, no, but I was in charge of editing, advertising, producing, and distribution of the film. Wow. Yeah. Good job. Well, I'm, I'm sure everyone can't see what an amazing job you guys have done. Congratulations to the both of you. Uh, <laughs> when, are, when are you going to produce a film for me? I mean, you haven't returned any of my calls. Oh, well, you know, I only helped Jim because he wasn't feeling like himself last year. And also, he funded the whole project, so, you know. Well, congratulations to both of you. I'm sure it's... Uh, Really remarkable stuff. Yeah, you know, everyone put so much effort into it, and I'm really glad it turned out the way it did. But, you know, I would like to see the finished product at some point. I mean, mm -hmm. I actually haven't seen it. So, uh, yeah, Diane <laughs> kind of snatched up all the footage <laughs> with the editor. So, uh, yeah. Yeah, well, I I'm, I'm sure it's great. Yeah, well, <laughs> we'll, we'll be uh, right back after a word from our sponsors. Alwyn dijo... Accidente? Dude, no one said accident. Hola. Mi nombre es... Ernesto Guajardo. Abogado de cerebros pequeños. Recuerde. Los beneficios como pendejos locos como tú. Tú no tienes un abogado. Qué estúpido. Estoy aquí para ayudar con tu error, tonto. Veamos con nuestro número. 1-800-2424-2424-2424. And we're back. Welcome back to Pre-Evening with Kai. Me. <laughs> As you're all aware, after a commercial break, we break into our nightly guest challenge. I hope you two are ready, because now it's time to play a little something we're calling competitive full frontal bop it. Wow. <laughs> like this music? Yeah. Right, so, uh, <laughs> bop it, the classic pastime of millennials and preteens alike. It's Simon Says, with half the brain power and twice the frustration. And one of our studio favorites. If you guys have seen the show before, you know that anything can happen. Right, so you guys, you guys will figure out how to play Bop It, but this time it is one strike and you're out. So you guys got to be on it. I'm going to start us off. I've been playing this for years, so I'm not going to fail. Oh. Just got to set it up. Such coordination. Oh, yeah. Wow. Your turn. Oh, your mother Good raised luck. you right. Thank you. Uh, oh, Jim. <laughs> you would be the first one. Man. Okay. Your turn? Oh, okay. I guess this is between you and me now. Oh, oh I'm exactly. an idiot. Damn, well, okay. That means Diane is the winner. Woo! Congratulations, Diane. Thank you. Thank You've you. done it's something phenomenal. right. So, all right, all right, all right. That was fun and all, mm -hmm. but let's bring things up a notch. For round two, we have a very special guest. 
now, let's see, it's, oh yeah, no, it is your co-star. We brought your co-star, Bigfoot, the man himself. God damn it. Oh, careful there. Oh, ah, uh, he's, he's, he's disposable. Now your PA sucks. Hey, Bigfoot, my man. I was gonna say you did a fantastic job in that film. Oh, ten you. out of Good ten luck. acting. Hello, hello, hello. It's so it's good, good to see, see you. Again. Why is that thing here? No, oh, just we're gonna play some bop it, right? So same rules as last time. One strike and you're out. You know how to play this, right? Of course. Do it to him. Oh, do it, Bigfoot. Twist it. Oh, you're so good. Well, Woo! You can do it, Diane. Stop it. Do it, Jim, Diane. Jim, Jim. I'm really not comfortable with him. Jim. Oh, my God. Stop! Just because I broke a rib doesn't mean we can have a fun time. Cool, cool, cool. Let's, let's, let's give Jim a pass. Jim, do you want to start? Start us off. Don't be a sore loser. What happened oh, there? Jim, Jim. I think... was distracted by a hairy beast. Oh, hairy beast? Yeah, a hairy beast. Oh, I'm a beast now. You, yeah, just because we share about 90% of DNA doesn't mean you are a human. Oh, that's that's too far, man. Yeah, and who did you vote for, you commie frickin' Sasquatch? Did you write in Vladimir Putin? Hey, just because I immigrated from Russia to Alaska to eventually California doesn't give you the right to come up with that stereotype. Okay, okay, yeah. I think it's time that you get out of here, you hairy beast. Beast? Oh, says you. Oh, yeah. Come here and come get some of this, huh? Oh, watch this, guys. This is gonna be funny. Watch. Oh, no. hey. <laughs> hey. Got it. Hey, stop. <laughs> stop. Hey, you know <laughs> Cut it out. Cut it out. Look, I thought you guys were bigger than your on screen counterparts, but I was wrong. We're goddamn Americans. So we should act as such, especially on the 4th of June, I, I'm July. Americans should be, should act like responsible adults and use the privilege of freedom from the noblest egalitarian principles we have to prove the world that freedom is the key to world peace. Not your commie ideological, I mean, I'm sorry, fascist ideas resorting to uh, violence over diplomacy. What is the America? America is the dream every country should strive for. We set the example, the world follows suit. See look, I, I brought you two here to prove the world that in times of conflict, great foes can set aside their differences and come together and look past their troubled past. The vision of our founding fathers was one of unity under the flag, not division. We are to stand as one nation, man and Sasquatch together in harmony. Only then will we be able to fulfill our pledge to sustain one nation under God, invisible with liberty and justice for all, including Sasquatches. You can't, we were just playing a game, we were playing Bop It, and, and they, we, they were hugging like they were making it. You can't arrest him, you big cheat! 
are bringing you in for hey. assaulting an officer and obstructing ah. justice. Yo, hey, but let's, let's get out of here. here. I have Come a game show. Get out of here. Get up. No. 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 I don't want to go back there. No, not the Tottenham Bay. No. Well, that's all we have time for today on Pre-Evening with Kai. I'm Diane Goodman. And I'm Jim Brannigan. And thank you for watching what might be the last episode of Pre-Evening with Kai. I mean, who makes a, a talk show in the middle of the afternoon, right? <laughs> Have a great day. Bye.